In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're planting a fall garden. Today, we're gonna to plant our fall garden. You saw the failures we've had. Uh, this year, we're gonna do something a little different. Every year, about mid to the end of uh, July, I plant turnips. Uh, we like turnips, uh, but we don't harvest them till December. Uh, we like them to have several frosts on them before we harvest them. We want the globes to be good size. So what we're going to do today is we're going to sow our turnips. But we're also going to sow our fall crops. It's July the 18th, and I don't have time for Brussels sprouts to make. Just That's just the way it is. I don't have time for Brussels sprouts to make. So there won't be any Brussels sprouts this year. I guess I'll be buying some. Uh, we're going to plant though, we're going to plant more broccoli and we're going to plant cauliflower. Now cauliflower might have time to make or it might not, but a packet of seeds from the dollar store is just 50 cents. So what's lost? So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to plant in the fall garden and I'm going to plant it all by broadcast. Now, some of y'all may not think that it's going to turn out too well. I don't know how it'll turn out. I get all kinds of turnips and kale and stuff like that from broadcast. So, this is what I'm going to broadcast today. I'm going to broadcast some lettuce. I'm going to broadcast beets. Carrots. I'm going to broadcast kale. I always broadcast kale. I'm going to broadcast cauliflower. Turnips, which are globe. We don't like to eat the, uh, the tops, so we don't like turnip greens, so, but we love turnips. And then I'm going to do Waltham broccoli. I usually save the seeds, but you saw what happened before. Of course, there's more beets. And I'll probably plant one pack of parsnips. Then I've got an experiment that I want to do with parsnips and carrots, and I'll show you that one when we get to it. So now, all I did, all I've done, is I've got a coffee can here. And all I've done is just scooped up some dirt out of my garden. And I want it to be pretty loose. I want to get rid of the big clods. But it's not going to be perfectly loose. It's just going to be dirt out of the garden. Then I come back and I put these seeds in it. And you don't need me to show you how to open a packet of seeds. I'm going to put them all in it. I'm going to put in the turnips, the, the broccoli, the carrots, the kale. Everything is going to go in this container. And when I get that done, I'll come back to you. Okay, I've got all my seed in my bucket. You can see the seed there. Uh, there's cauliflower. There's no cabbage. I forgot. I didn't have cabbage seed. I thought I did, but I didn't. Uh, so there's cauliflower. There's broccoli. There's turnips. There's kale. There's beets, there's parsnips, there's carrots, and radishes. So that's a pretty good mix. That'll be perfect for a fall garden. Might it attract a deer? Yeah, it might attract a deer. But my son would say vegetables aren't food. Vegetables are what food eats. So my deer stand is right here close to the turnip patch. So if that's the case, there'll be deer in the freezer this fall. Anyhow. So, I just put the lid on, and I do the shake a shake. 
I want to distribute those seeds. All in this mix. Because I'm going to spread them out over everything. And what that does, it allows your seed to get dispersed and easily mixed in so that when you cast it out in the garden, it's not going to all be in one spot. So it's going to be spread out all over. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Okay, that looks pretty well dispersed. I see some seeds on top, but they're all pretty far apart. So now, I prepared my ground last night uh, about dark. Uh, the temperature had gone down to about 80 degrees, so I put the tiller on and got it ready. And I'll show you what I do. Okay, here we are in the garden. It's a complicated process which means it's really not. Take this lid off, put it in the back of the golf cart, and now you just take a handful and start. Fall garden sowed. I hope it works. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.